Charlie Munger, you are on a YouTube video that discusses BYD and solar energy, and I really appreciate uh, that interview and it being available to everyone. Um, I want to talk about that in relationship to your other companies. So the BYD was mentioned as electric car and battery, but I understand their second goal is solar energy. And you also own uh, roofing companies and buildings companies, Clarem and Clayton, as well as utilities, uh, Mid-America, Pacificorp, and Pacific Power. This seems to be a perfect golden opportunity for solar to be on these buildings in those kinds of utility companies. You've mentioned you don't interfere with individual companies, but is there a way you can um, direct, suggest, motivate a synergy between all these companies to bring solar solutions? Thank you. Well, the, the solar solutions are coming because they're so obviously needed. And regarding solar panels on roofs, I never pass an opportunity to decline to put them in because I think they're going to get a lot cheaper. And I'd rather wait. Uh, so. Well, at 86, you can afford to, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have to think about the long term. <laughs> The, uh, and I'm going to miss you terribly. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <laughs> <laughs> you reminded me of the wife and the husband said, would you still love me if I lost all my money? And she says, yes, I would always love you, but I would miss you terribly. <laughs> Well, the solar is coming because we have no other practical alternative. And it should be regarded as a very good thing because what in hell would modern civilization do if we had no alternative to fossil fuels? That would be a really serious problem. And, uh, and so, of course, the the cities that are choking to death in their own poisonous air uh, are going to go to electric cars and and and, uh, and we're going to get a lot more uh, renewable energy from the sun. I'm also quite negative about growing corn in America using fossil water and fossil fuels in order to burn up in automobiles. That is a stunningly stupid idea, and another example of how our politicians have failed us. And, but, but I am enormously optimistic about what is going to happen. Our politicians will eventually create a big electric grid that's way better than what we have now. We'll eventually have the energy we need, and we will be way better for it. And uh, it's wonderful that these technical problems are proving solvable. It is not all that important over the long term if solar power costs twice as much as what we're used to. That's a blip in the economic future of our country. It's just a blip. And uh, I think it's probably a good thing that we have all these big capital needs coming that will create a better system in the end and solve our problems in the end. So I, I'm quite optimistic, but in terms of immediate business decisions, I think frequently the right answer is counterintuitive. Like mine say, if you want to put in solar panels, wait. They're going to get cheaper. Warren, you want to criticize that? I have nothing to add. <laughs>